just a real quick warning to everyone, this is not gonna be a fun video, um, and it could be a little bit triggering for some, so just letting you know that right now, right off the bat before we get started. Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, this is about 1.50 in the afternoon, um, and I am on the, the very tail end of, of a panic attack. And um, um, I, I didn't film the worst of it, but I, I'm trying to catch it at the, the tail end so people um, can kind of see this and I can describe what it's feeling like and, and what I'm feeling and stuff like that. Um, just from like an informative perspective and um, things like that so that maybe someone um, will kind of understand and learn a few things from it or or um, maybe recognize kind of things that they're feeling and, and realize that this is what it could be. Um, so just bear with me because this is going to be um, a little bit of a rough ride for me. It's It's been going on about 20 minutes now um, just writing out the end of it and um, so this is this is what I'm feeling right now um, I have a ton of pain in my chest um, especially like right here um, around the heart area which is really common and a lot of people um, my, myself included in the past before I knew enough about um, the, the kind of stuff that, that, that can happen as, as a result of lots of anxiety and, and having a panic attack and things like that. Um, it, it can feel like you're having a heart attack, which can make things so much worse. And, um, because it just makes your mind race and you think about like all the horrible things that could be happening. Um, which I had happen a few weeks back. I had a major, one of the worst panic attacks I've ever had. Um, literally only about two weeks ago, um, and my, my chest was hurting so bad and my arms, like I started losing feeling in my fingers and my arms and, um, more to that, but I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, I started getting super lightheaded as I kept thinking about all the things that could be wrong. And then I was like having a pace around the house. Um, I walked in circles. I don't know how many times. Um, just constantly, constantly, um, walking around because I have to be doing something. I have to be moving. I did this thing with my fingers where like, and I'm, I'm kind of doing it off camera a little bit. Um, but I, I do this a lot. Like, I don't, I don't know why I'm just tapping my fingers and maybe that helps a little bit or release some of that <sighs> nervous energy because I've actually learned recently through uh, the support group that Rochelle facilitates uh, that there is a, a technique where you can tap in, in different, like on your meridians, things like that, and it's supposed to be really helpful. God, I'm so fidgety right now. Oh, God. When, when I said I want to talk more about like the, the numbness kind of thing I was feeling, um, it's like I knew that my arms and hands weren't numb. Like, I, if I touched it, I could feel it, but it's almost like my brain isn't acknowledging that I can feel stuff, like touching my arms and stuff. And I just had some similar things going on. Um, and, and I think this is part of what's triggering the, these panic attacks and anxiety and stuff I'm having so much lately. Um, we're just, we're going through so many changes right now. Um, you know, you guys know we got married. Um, we got robbed during the wedding, which was a little stressful. Um, but honeymoon was great. We, we had a good time there. We were able to relax a lot and, but like coming back, like on the way back, I was so strung out. Um, and I don't think that anxiety has subsided at all since being on the way back from that. So this has been going on since, um, before Christmas. Uh, you guys can hear more about that stuff in, uh, me and Rochelle's podcast, Anxiously Ever After, where we talk about the wedding, getting robbed, um, how, what the honeymoon did for us as far as being able to chill out and relax a little bit more and, and then coming back from the aftermath of <laughs> the robbery and all that kind of things. Um, anyway, back on track. Um, we're going through a ton of changes. Um, Rochelle started the school pretty much immediately from getting back. She's going back to, um, for a master's in social work. 
Uh, so there's that, which means lots of, uh, she's having to spend a lot of time studying, doing homework, things like that, writing papers, um, which is, you know, less time, obviously, that we can spend together, which really sucks. Work has been so ridiculously stressful, and I feel like I'm always behind. Um, on top of these things, uh, we've been looking for a house. We actually just had an offer approved, and literally my panic attack started as I was writing a check for our earnest money, which is just kind of almost, almost like a deposit or a um, down payment, but not it's money that will go towards the down payment if the inspection goes okay and nothing keeps us from purchasing the house so it was a large check it was a lot of money we've been saving a lot we've been stressing over saving we've been stressing over looking at houses and stuff we just got this one approved and things are moving really really fast and and i just think it's a lot it's a whole lot and in an and I'm not scared of doing these things. I am just, it's just a whirlwind to be honest. And, and it's a lot to process, uh, basically. And so it was writing that check and then I'm driving it to the, the place I need to go to drop it off. And, um, oh, and we sold my car. So we're down to one car right now. Cause, uh, my car basically is the down payment for this house. Uh, so, you know, the one car life has definitely made things a little hectic to you. Um, um, and I'm not sleeping much at all. It's been about three weeks since I think I've had like a full night's rest. Um, it's usually a few hours on and off um, for sleeping. And, and it's really weighing hard on my mental and physical health right now. Um, so, like, on the way to this office, I am in such a fog, which made things worse, because it's like, I'm I'm driving, and, and I feel like I'm just in this daze, like, I feel like I can't see things, and, and, and that's not true, because I can, I can acknowledge that I can physically see what's going on around me. I, I can see that there's cars, you know, coming in the opposite direction or stop signs and stoplights, but it's like my brain is trying to stop those signals. God, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know how else to describe it other than like, you know, when you're in a dream and you can kind of see and experience things, but they don't seem quite right. Like there's just something weird about it and things can change super quickly and it doesn't need to make sense. That's kind of how it, it felt. I'm, I'm like driving. I can see other cars, but then it's just like, oh man, I just went two blocks and, and I don't remember doing that. Um, I'm behind this one car, but like, I don't remember being behind this car, even though I can see myself being behind the car oh god um this is what it feels like for me um when i'm having a panic attack uh this is this is what it's like i feel very manic um very <laughs> panicky which is kind of in the name it's kind of implied um uh lots of chest pain breathing is gets kind of hard it kind of hurts a little bit and and i feel um, like I could hyperventilate and I'm trying really not trying really hard not to taking lots of deep breaths and things like that so um, that's why I wanted to get out there I, I just want to um, kind of show what this part of, of dealing with anxiety is uh, and mental illness and stuff like that is, is like I just want it to be seen and I'm probably later going to feel really stupid about this video and going to regret it to some extent, but I'm just going to do it anyway and put it out there. And however people will react, they react. And I hope it's positive. At least try to be nice about it if you're watching it. And, and if you're like, oh, this is dumb. Um, I'm going to try a few things to calm myself down and we're going to just kind of see um, how it goes. I'm going to take some CBD oil right now. So this is the unflavored a uh, thousand milligram god i can't even look at the cam look look camera there focus there so we're gonna hold those drops under the tongue for one minute
Okay, it's been about a minute. I swallowed the, the oil, um, and we're just gonna, um, we're gonna hang out for a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna just try some, some breathing. I might have to just get up and walk around a little bit, um, and then I'm gonna come back and, and um, once I start calming down a little bit, and um, I see how that goes. Quiet. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes since I took the CBD oil and stuff, and I'm feeling a lot calmer. And um, I mean, the, the CBD wasn't the only thing I did to try to relieve some of the stress and tension. Um, but I think that in combination with the other things I was doing um, really helped. So I'm just gonna tell you what all I did. So I, you saw me take the oil. Um, I kind of just sat here for a few minutes I did a lot of um, very deep breaths in which I breathe in through the nose and the mouth. Both my diaphragm and my chest were expanded as much as they could be. Basically, I took in as much oxygen as I could do and then let it out slowly. And I did that, um, I'll usually do like six or seven breaths like that. Um, I sat for a little bit longer, got up and got some water and I think I've drank about 16 ounces or so since then, um, which I feel, physically I feel a bit better, I think, partially because of that. Just having more water, I haven't had nearly as much today. One thing I also did was I, I vacuumed for a little bit. I went and vacuumed the living room. I have found that cleaning and um, vacuuming in particular tends to um, help relieve some stress and some anxiety. Um, and it gets me physically doing something. As I've said before, whenever I'm panicking, I, I have the need to physically do something. So I did that. Um, and I feel quite a bit better. Um, I'm not 100%, but um, I'm not panicking right now. I still feel the pain in my chest right now. It's not nearly what it was. Um, so I'm actually feeling pretty zen about things right now. That's probably gonna be really noticeable in my demeanor right now as well. So um, that's it for the video, really. I just wanted to kind of capture what I was going through, what I was feeling like, what thoughts were in my head, and then the coming down from it. Takeaways from this video is just, you know, if, if you recognize some of these things in yourself, um, you know, go talk to a doctor about it, or, or if you have a therapist, talk with them a little bit. Try some of the things I did. If, if you do take any CBD oil, try that to help calm down. Um, otherwise, uh, some decaffeinated tea with like chamomile, things like that sometimes helps. Um, some deep breathing, meditate if you're someone that can do that. That does take some practice. Um, maybe do something light and active, um, cleaning yoga, something like that. Um, I mean, if you need to exercise, exercise, do that, but I get pretty lightheaded um, when I'm panicking, so doing heavy exercise is, is very hard for me to do without um, almost passing out. Anyway, those are, are the things I just wanted to touch on, so thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry if it was very uncomfortable. Um, I just hope that this is something that helps other people, all right? So, cool. I'll see you next time. Keep on fighting.